Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to another monthly meal prep. I've got my coffee already going. You guys know that that is a must have whenever I have a to-do list going on and I have one today. Um, if you're new around here, I do these monthly meal preps twice a month. Um, mainly because I don't have a large freezer. I've got a small freezer back here And so I have to kind of do it in cycles and a lot of these things when I do these monthly meal preps are for breakfast lunch snacks in between everything I do a lot of videos on Dinner meal prep recipes and if you check out my channel below you will find that out if you're new But I just find that doing this about every two weeks definitely keeps my refrigerator. I mean my freezer stocked and of course you could do these recipes like three times over or more if you were doing them for a large family or if you were doing them um, for an entire month. So keep that in mind as we go through our day and do all of this prepping. I also wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. I'm so thrilled to work with them. I love meal kit delivery systems. I just think that they're so handy, especially for busy moms. And Green Chef provides flexibility as far as when you want meals delivered and how many you want delivered and one of my absolute favorite things about them is they do tailor your meals to whatever uh, eating style that you have so if it's keto if it's um, gluten-free those sorts of things and of course you guys know that I make a lot of gluten-free friendly things and um, just a lot of healthier options. I have the box down here. I'm gonna show you guys what all comes in it and kind of explain a little bit more of how it works. Green Chef lets you choose from a wide array of easy to follow lifestyles with select organic ingredients. Recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along the way. Everything is hand-picked and delivered right to your door with contactless delivery. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. Green Chef makes cooking easy with dinner options that work around your lifestyle and not the other way around. I love using Green Chef for busy days whenever I don't have time to prepare food and to fill in the gaps whenever I forget to pick up groceries or life just gets a little crazy and I need a little help. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh to offer a wider array of meal plans to choose from. There's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands when my tastes change or when I want to eat a little differently from one month to the next. With Green Chef, it's easy for me to eat well and discover new recipes every week that I love to cook. They have a wide variety of high quality clean ingredients that I feel great about whenever I'm eating and how it got to my table. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that offers meals for a variety of lifestyles including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit offsetting 100% of its direct carbon emissions and plastic packaging in every box. Go to greenchef.us backslash Adeline's Kitchen 80 and use code Adeline's Kitchen 80 to get $80 off across four boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Okay, so now that I've told you a little bit about that, let's go ahead and get started into our list. I've got a lot of great recipes today. I'm going to get out the ingredients for our first recipe. Okay, as usual, the recipes for everything that I found on Pinterest, so un unless it's my recipe, um, I always link it below. So here I've got some red potatoes, some corn, this is also corn, we've got shrimp, some sausage, Old Bay, lemon, butter, and some garlic. Can you guess what we're gonna do? <laughs> we are going to do a shrimp and sausage sheet pan boil and I'm really excited about this. I feel like this is gonna be a meal that like I pull out of the freezer and I'm so excited that it's already made up because it's gonna be so delicious. It's gonna be super yummy. So basically, 
Mostly what we need to do is just combine everything that's here. I need to cut up the potatoes, obviously juice the lemon, slice the sausage, and then get it all in a bag and um, just ha throw it in the freezer. I mean, that's basically all we need to do. So I need to double check my recipe to make sure I'm not missing any steps, but we're gonna get started in and wash up the potatoes. Okay, so I did have to reread the directions a little bit and you do have to blanch the potatoes. So basically blanching means that you're gonna drop them into boiling water for a really short amount of time just to kind of like cook them a little bit before you put it into the freezer and then when you pull everything out and cook it all at the same time, they'll be a little cooked and kind of ready to go. I ran cold water over the potatoes so they are pretty much cooled down and now I have got this and I am pretty sure that this is gonna have to go into two gallon bags. I don't think it's gonna all fit in one. So I'm gonna pull them out and get this stuff in the bag and in the freezer. Okay, now we're gonna switch gears just a little bit and make up some really yummy looking gluten-free banana bread. So I'm gonna get the ingredients out for this. I haven't made banana bread in years, but this week I was like, man, I don't know if it's a fall thing. I know that bananas aren't necessarily fall, but for some reason it just reminds me of fall. I don't know, but let's get this whipped up. All right, the batter is all whipped up, and remember, you can always use regular flour in place of gluten-free flour. You can always use gluten-free flour in the place of regular flour. So if I share these recipes and you're not gluten-free, you can just use regular flour um, and use the same recipe. So I have my silicone um, loaf pan here. I'm gonna dump this in here once I spray it. If you guys notice, when it comes to baking, I love using silicone, that's what I use for my muffins, my cupcakes, my mini cupcakes, that kind of thing, and this is the same way. I really like this, it's from Amazon. I will leave it linked below. So I'm gonna get this in the oven. Okay, so something that I make 
pretty regularly here in my kitchen on my channel is some veggie tots. So I do like different variations of this. I've done a lot of different kinds. I've done broccoli tots and sweet potato tots and that kind of thing. But the other day on Pinterest, I ran across a yellow squash tot and it looks really good. I think the color is going to be really fun for my girls to eat and I think I'll enjoy them as well. So I have all the ingredients out over there. Let's go over and I'll show you what goes in them. Quick little tip uh, that I like to do the best that I can is continuously wash the same bowl and use the same bowl and use the same cutting board, wash the knives, wash things as I go so I don't end up with such a big pile of stuff. Plus my kitchen is pretty minimal so I don't have a ton of mixing bowls but I think it just helps with the exhaustion when you're all done that you don't have a ton of dishes to do. So we've got the yellow squash, there's three of them that go in this, some eggs, some cheddar cheese, some spices, salt, and then um, instead of the breadcrumbs that she suggests in the recipe, I'm gonna be using almond flour instead. This next recipe is one that I have made before, except this time I'm doing a few tweaks, kind of making a little different version of it. I have made this recipe for a very long time, for years. It's definitely my, it could become my own recipe. I've tweaked it so many different times. But if you are familiar with chicken cordon bleu, basically the main ingredients is obviously chicken, something creamy, some ham, and some Swiss cheese. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and kind of show you the version of it that I'm gonna be making today. You could obviously use this for a lunch thing, a month lunch meal, or you could use it as a dinner meal. Either way, it's going in a nine by 13 and in our freezer, and I'm going to probably be using it this next week. Like I said, you'll need some chicken, so I have about three chicken breasts here. If you guys watch my channel a lot, you might remember this from whenever I made some ham and potato soup a while back. I threw it in my freezer since it was left over, so now I'm gonna be using it for this today. So I'm gonna be cutting this into strips so I can wrap it all up together. You'll see how I'm gonna do that in just a second. I've got my box grater here. Obviously, I was grating cheese for the little tots, and I'm gonna grate up Swiss cheese. I've got a little bit of uh, cream cheese here. I'm actually gonna mix these together so that it's more of a spreadable kind of cheese situation. So I'll put that inside the uh, chicken with the ham. So basically I'm gonna cut these breasts in half long ways and then take my meat tenderizer, hammer them out really thin, and then wrap all of the inside ingredients together. Then I'm going to put them into my 9 by 13 I'll spray this, and then I'm gonna make a topping, which we'll get to that once we've got all of this put together. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Super, super delicious. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of almond flour, some salt, and some Italian seasoning, mix it together, and then just dump it over the top, and then I'm going to wrap um, some tin foil across this and put it in the freezer.
Okay, so the girls and I may have just eaten about a third of that loaf of banana bread. Oh my goodness, that is a really, really great recipe. So I highly recommend that one. So now I'm gonna make a fun little snack that I have not made in quite a while, and that is my homemade fruit snacks. I'm gonna show you how I make them. They're really, really simple, and show you the tools that you'll need as well. Okay, so I've got, I had some melted chocolate chips on my hand from the banana bread. I've got two cups of really hot water in here. I actually just did it in the microwave till it's uh, like kind of steaming. I've got my little curly whisk that I love here. Um, all the stuff you can find on Amazon, I will link it below. And then these are my gummy molds. I've got some gelatin, and I like to use this to flavor and sweeten mine. It's actually a water enhancer, but it's sweetened with stevia, so it's already got the flavor and everything right in it, and I kind of just test taste as I go. But for two cups of water, you'll want eight tablespoons of gelatin to mix up and then these little molds also come with little droppers and then you just take the liquid and put it in here. Another tip I have for you is you'll want to do it in a glass bowl because I throw mine in the freezer to get them to set up really fast. But generally, you know, you have some more in there and if for some reason it starts to set up, you can throw it back in the microwave just for a little bit to get it liquefied again and get it into the molds. Okay, so I got the second batch of gummies in the freezer and they look a little frosty just because they came out of the freezer, but all that frostiness goes away whenever you store them in the refrigerator, which is where you need to store them. Um, but my girls love these. They're taking their naps right now and they knew I was making them and so I told them that they can have some when they wake up and they were over the moon about it. So I am going to be now flash freezing the little tots. I just lay them out flat freeze them first and then put them into a bag so that they don't freeze together in a big clump. I do that with a lot of stuff. If you guys watch often, you know that. But this is everything that I had planned for my meal prep today. And I'm really happy with all that I got done. I know that it's going to make the next two weeks a little bit easier to have some of these homemade things on hand and I tell you guys this a lot but one of the big reasons that I do this is just to have things that are healthier, things that are homemade that I know what's in them and I'm not just buying prepackaged things all the time and just taking a little bit of time to do that. Also the things that are little meal items or breakfast items and stuff like that that I do just help save a lot of stress when I can go to the freezer pull out a breakfast burrito, warm it up, and somebody's got food right away. And I don't have to stop whatever I'm doing to go cook a big meal. Don't forget to check out the links below to try out Green Chef. And um, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed, joined my channel, joined my tribe. Um, and don't forget to give this video a like, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.